All right, I'm doing a video on fossils today. I'm going to show some of the more interesting ones, a video of uh, the actual place where I find these, and uh, a couple other fossils I've acquired over the last couple weeks. So first up is what I think is a Devonian fish, but there's mixed feelings about it on the fossil forum. So let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. This is what I think is a backbone of a fish, and I'm going to detach my camera here from the tripod get a little better view of it, or try to anyways, pull it back, so that's what we've got here, they think it might be, I believe they said a cephalopod, I have no idea what it is, but um, let me try to get my camera. That's the fossil. So, moving on, show you a little video of uh, where I found it, some stuff I found down there, and then we'll get to more fossils. This one, this one could be nothing, but I found this in the bed uh, towards the bottom of the stream, and there weren't any other rocks around that looked like this one. It's got kind of a matte finish on this side smooth finish on this side. There was nothing like it that matched this rock anywhere around. So I kind of thought this might be something. I actually thought it was a piece of pottery to begin with, but it doesn't feel like it. It's definitely something. What the hell it is, I don't know. I was hoping the fossil forum would tell me because it just, it's got a weird structure to it. And the smooth side, matte side, I don't know. You guys tell me what that is. It's nothing, I'll chuck it in the garden. Alright, this is the stream I find all the fossils in. It starts up here and winds its way down into a valley a couple hundred yards downstream. So, I found a couple things yesterday I'll show you and we'll look for some more. Yeah, we're getting a little deeper in the stream now, but uh, these are some that I found yesterday. Not anything I really want to bring out, but you can see. Uh, Parts of shells in here. All kinds of. My camera going to focus. All kinds of stuff in there. Now it's coming down this uh, little ravine or whatever you want to call it. And originally, I saw this piece that I thought was cool. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my camera to focus on that. See, that's a little bronchiopod sticking out there with the shell and all. You know, I was working at this rock, trying to see you know, what I could find on it. I might do that a little bit later. But then I looked over here, and there's a whole outcropping of some kind of creature. Now this rock, to give you a size reference, is huge. It weighs way, way more than me. And actually, it's got another piece down here that's slowly washing its way down. I don't know what these creatures are. Various... Eh, it might be bronchiopods, I don't know. But they've got really long shells like that one. But as this top layer is wearing away, it's exposing them. Now this piece actually goes right there. But uh, as you can see, just covered in these things. There's a bronchiopod there. A little shell sticking out. Some shell there. Some more shell. Half tempted to drag this damn thing up. This whole thing is a colony of whatever. There's another shell. It's just a colony of whatever these things are. Whole mix of crap. dead tree laying on it too. Got that one out of the way. I wanted to get a close up of these things. Maybe 
somebody on the fossil form be able to tell me what they are. What's interesting is this must have been the top of the sea floor at one point. And below it you can see bronchial pod, but you also see little tubes where worms were climbing around. So that must have been below the surface. So that's pretty awesome. Let's continue on. It's just beating on the stone with uh, that stone there. They noticed a couple fossils below the, air, uh, the top. And I actually got a piece up. And you can see the shells in there. You can actually see the layer that they're all in right there. On the top you can't really see anything. But uh, they're all right in that layer. You can see the white shells. Yeah, they haven't been exposed to air since the Devonian. Actually, they wouldn't have been exposed to air water since the Devonian. There's another one right there with all kinds of crap on it. It's actually... Hmm. That one's another cluster like the one we saw. Just packed full of stuff. Another one of those shells. Bunch of crap on that one. I want to show you this because <clears throat> you can actually see the layers here where it kind of fell away. The dark layer down there <clears throat> is where I find a lot of uh, shells in, but it's so brittle that uh, you can't really do anything with it. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get this one. Let's see a couple little shells in there. But, uh, and see that these rocks are so brittle you can't really do anything with them. But this upper layer is uh, where like we found that giant stone in up there. At least I think it is. It's the right color anyways. I don't know, I'm not a geologist. A couple of the ones I found yesterday. Nice. One there. This whole thing's covered in shells different types. That one's actually got some shells in it. Asshole spider. It's still there from yesterday. I hate spiders. This is another like seabed one. See all sorts of things. They're like giant, well however you pronounce that freaking thing. The beak-like thing. I hate spiders. I freaking hate them. All right, now for some other ones I've found. This is just a whole collection of shells. Varying types and sizes, very, very compact. Just hundreds, thousands of them packed in there. I've got this one that's really nice. You can see the, uh, I guess you call them Mother of Pearl or whatever. Packed in there. The stone's actually very brittle, so kind of have to be careful. There's a new, uh, oh god, what do you call these? Bronchiopod. There's a nice bronchiopod. Probably pronouncing that wrong. Old collection of fossils here. Imprints. Bunch of different uh, shells and whatnot on this. A couple on the other side. Nice one.
Here's an interesting one. Just covered. Actually, there's mud there. Very cool.